Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per recent reports, ICG that is Indian Coast Guard is moving ahead with a proposal for acquisition of 6 C295 transport aircraft. These aircrafts will be used for long range maritime surveillance that is for MPA or maritime patrol aircraft role. Now most of the sensors and technologies which is required for an MP aircraft has already been developed by DRDO as part of their Triple MA program. Triple MA stands for Multi Mission Maritime Aircraft. The state of art Triple MA program is to equip the aircraft with latest technology sensors and armament to provide enhanced surveillance and interdiction capability in the exclusive economic zone and search and rescue capabilities in Indian search and rescue region. It will be a multi-role system for maritime surveillance, search and rescue, interdiction and pollution surveillance as primary roles. Besides, it can perform secondary roles such as cargo and personal transportation and air ambulance for medivac. The platform chosen for Triple MA is Airbus C-295 aircraft. The Center for Airborne System CAPS Bengaluru has prepared a blueprint to modify six of the 56 C-295 military transport aircraft procured by Indian government for maritime usage by the Indian Coast Guard. The mission system of Triple MA will consist of state-of-art sensors, which are AESA-based maritime patrol radar, IFF system electronic optics infrared or EOIR sensors, pollution surveillance suite, communication support measure, automatic identification system, data link for both line of sight and beyond line of sight communication and mission communication system. All these sensors will be command and controlled by distributed MMS and present the maritime domain awareness picture to the operator on a multifunctional tactical console. It will also provide these data to a ground data terminal through communication links. The ASA based maritime patrol radar is going to be the primary sensor which will provide the critical information such as small floating object, small boat, vessels and classification of those vessels, coast imaging, coastal activity picture, search and rescue etc. It will be mounted on the belly of the aircraft and can operate in various modes such as air to air, air to sea, moving target indicator that is MTI mode in sea and ground, range signature, synthetic aperture, radar beacon and weather modes. IFF that is identification of friend and foe is going to be secondary sensor that provides the identification and height information of the targets equipped with a suitable transponder. The information provided is used to identify targets as friendly or non-friendly in the surveillance area. The system also caters to various secure modes. The Triple MA will also feature EOIR sensor which will be used for imaging of targets of interest. It consists of an HD day camera, thermal imager, short wave infrared imager, laser rangefinder and laser pointer. The sensor can operate simultaneously depending on day, light, weather condition and display HDMI images to the operator. It has features of geopointing, georeferencing and video tracking. The data from the maritime patrol radar, IFF and automatic identification system and CSM are downlinked to the ground stations and tactical control data uplinked to Triple MA system. The communication between Triple MA system and ground exploitation station is through C band LOS link and KU band SATCOM link. The mission communication system provides air to air, air to ground, VHF or UHF voice communication as well. It also provides integrated control of all onboard communication sets and intercom for all mission operators and the flight crew. The Triple MA system comprises of three configurable triple display multifunctional tactical consoles capable of operating in any of the designated modes. 
the MTC will display the recognizable maritime picture of the overall scenario perceived by various sensors to the mission operator via the MMS. The same RMP is also communicated to the ground station via the data links. The MTC also receives the health information from all systems periodically and display health status to the operator. The C-295 aircraft, as we know, will be equipped with self-protection equipment including cockpit armor, a radar warning receiver, a missile approach warning system, and a laser warning receiver. The aircraft can fire chaff and flares to deceive the incoming radar homing guided missiles and infrared guided missiles. DRDO's ultra-wild-based missile approach warning system will be installed on all Airbus C-295 bought by Indian Air Force and same can be expected on C-295 under MMA role along with EOIR sensors. In an anti-ship role, the C-295 can also be integrated with two Marte MK-2S anti-ship inert missile installed under the wing which had been tested by Airbus and MBDA. The missile has a range in excess of 30 km with active radar homing, sea scheming, fire and forget mode and high subsonic speed. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.